are there every day. So we'll be coming back to the tavern as we will be coming back, going back to Brent's apartment every day. I trust all's well with you. So here on the ground level, be careful because there's a patroller who comes all the way to the bottom of the stairway. I'll follow him into the room. I will start just by probably nothing but just in case getting to this shadow. Well, you hear Come up there. It's time to call this off. There's nothing for us to find. What you heard up there was a yellow alert about the missing coins. So I like to wait until he goes all the way back to the base of the stairs. I'm gonna creep out and grab the coins off the kitchen table. Two copper coins, those are there every day, and they will trigger a yellow alert from him, so I'll wait for that to settle. Maybe they won't trigger a yellow alert from him. I'm gonna wait for another full cycle, and then hop over the bar to get those two wine bottles. Oh, who's been taking things? Oh, there it is. I knew there was a yellow alert about those. Probably just heard the echo of my own footsteps. <laughs> There's another example of alert propagation. Yellow alert down here leads to a green from the guy upstairs. He's back to his regular patrol now, so when he's over there, I want to mantle over the bar and then quiet, Carry on. quietly get down into this corner and wait out another cycle. <sighs> Now we have to be careful, this is a glitch, there's not a whole lot I can do about it, but uh, you see there's a junk bottle in the rack above one of the valuable ones? When I grab the valuable one, the junk one will fall. If it hits the ground, the sound will alert everyone nearby, so I'm going to have to carefully grab it out of midair as it's falling. Which is a pain, but we do what we must. So. Grab the one on the right first, then the left, and get the junk bottle before it lands anywhere. Hello. Evening. Now that we have it, <clears throat> we need to manage to drop it without causing any extra alerts, which is also tougher than you might think. for him to cycle out of the room again. First I'll try dropping it here and hoping for the best. Is that a... Oh, what's making that noise? noise? Nope. I don't think I can drop it anywhere inside the room, so I'm just gonna carry it all the way out and in an attempt to leave it someplace that makes sense, I'll leave it next to the wine rack in the stairwell. <laughs> Garrett. I wanted him to mantle onto the bar. If that wasn't obvious, that's what I was going for. So let's try that again. <laughs> Get off nice and slowly. I'm bloody dangerous, I am. Let him go. There. That's what I said. Something. Oh, he can't wall oh, flatten. Oh, boy! That's the detail I forgot. He can't wall flatten with junk in his hands either. So I'm going to have to wait until the guy is 
on his way back to the toward the front entrance and then slip into the stairwell behind him without being heard which shouldn't be that hard to pull off I don't think nothing stirring this evening All right, so I'll leave the wine bottle next to this rack. Weird, it's floating. Oh well. With that, I'm ready to head to Stone Market proper. There's still the handful of gems in Tursus Courtyard, but I don't have the note directing me to it yet, so I'll get it when I'm back in here in a bit. Wait for that watchman to turn around. And you can see the load zone mist up ahead on the right. That's how we'll get to Stone Market proper. See you on the other side. First things first, right off the bat, there's going to be a conversation to listen to and a map to pickpocket once they're done. Of course we can- You ready? What, right now? Yeah, you get the map, right? What else are we waiting for? I don't know. A little time to prepare, I guess. You don't just waltz into a Hamrite Cathedral and run around willy-nilly. But that's the beauty of it. Element of surprise. Idiot. It's supposed to be the Hamrites that are surprised, not us. Well, I mean, everyone would be surprised. Isn't that even better? No, no, you and I, we shouldn't be surprised at all. We should be prepared, have a plan, know what we're going after and where it is, how many hammers be around, that sort of thing. Oh yeah, I see your point, I guess. Are you sure you ain't just chicken? My last partner was chicken. Look, we just got the map. Let's study it, come up with a plan. No one's chicken. We know there's gold in there, but we also know there's really big guys in there with giant hammers. This... this is what I like to call a finesse job. Yeah, yeah, finesse. Sounds good. I vote we go in now. Surprise attack. I vote we don't. We need a plan. Finesse. Surprise. And shut up. So we get a note that says, the thugs hanging around St. Edgar's church have a map of the church with them. So let's grab his map. We'll be in St. Edgar's later. You're chicken, ain't ya? So it's good for us to have that map. I'm gonna go ahead and do a real save since I haven't in a while. Just cause, that's always I good miss. policy. They always talk big, but in the end they're all chicken. Now if we s here's there's a watch station. This guy's always impaired, which is nice. There are two broadhead <laughs> arrows here Climbing. that are here every day. Now today there are two silver coins in front of him. Only one of them will be here every day. But he'll yellow alert when they go missing, so let's just nab him. It can't have gone off by itself. How's <sighs> tricks? What do you want, Taffer? Some of the nice lives they could all hear. But I am a lady, and don't you go forgetting it, you tiff taff and taffer. Ha, <laughs> that showed him. So as soon as he settles, we can get over here into this alley. <clears throat> Sneaky above one. You head sick? Different? Yes. Open cage. Open gravid cage. Gravid one return under to Kushak. So we got another note that says, there's a strange creature locked in a cell in Stone Market proper who wishes to be freed. He has a map in his cell with him. Now, personally, I don't consider it a bust to let him out because everyone will alert, but he usually escapes without any violence. 
and the alert is still unrelated to me being seen or heard. So, with that in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and let him out and get the map of the sunken citadel that's in his cell. And he didn't alert to me either. That was a proximity trigger, which should be obvious from the shadow I'm in. But let me do one real save. I just want to make sure he doesn't cause any bloodshed. There's another battle coming up soon enough that'll turn this zone into total chaos, but this one's also up right left, just like the tower. Gravid has thank you, sneaky human. Gravid, go now. Gravid, the prisoner has a... Uh-oh. Some taff are looking for trouble. Again? Is that you doing that? Smithy? Oh, boy. So we'll grab the map, leave the door open since I didn't open it, and just wait for everybody to settle down. Now the gravity's gone. Betty ran for it when I heard him. Huh. Definitely heard something. But now nothing. What's there to know? There's a bunch of hammerite gold in there. We go in fast, come out rich. Are you with me or what? So now everyone has settled down. There's been no violence, which is good. Because otherwise it would be a bust, because you know, Garrett can't intentionally cause, uh... Melees. Hmm, not a bad looking fella. So with that, I'm gonna break right first. Finesse. Planning. In this area, there's a fire arrow here in the torch. It's here every day. And here's the stone market shop. She sells moss arrows, among other things. Garrett, I can't believe it's you in my store. Let me know if you need help finding anything. I'm Marla. Marla Madison. Used to be a thief myself. Maybe you heard of me, or... Mm, but, oh, you probably just want to shop. She does have the iron practice lock, which I want to go ahead and buy. I just know you love your purchase. Let me know how it works out. If there are any problems whatsoever, just bring it back and we'll get it all straightened out. And then down at the other end of this alley, first, here in the alley, you see the third stone market rust mite, the only one in proper. And this red handprint signifies our fence, Black Market Bertha. Well, looky, looky. You must be Garrett. Somehow, I expected somebody taller. Doesn't matter. I'm Black Market Bertha. Glad to meet you. Perry said to expect you. Said you'd have an opal for me. I'm sure we can do business. I got the best stone cutters in the city waiting to cut it up, as a matter of fact. So, sh like Heartless Perry, she buys metal and gems, not artwork. Now this is a mm, this is a damn fine opal. One of a kind. I bet it came from one of those old noble houses. Am I right? Never mind. It ain't my business how you came to have it. Ooh. I almost forgot. Here. A gentleman left this letter for you. Don't you worry. I didn't read it. It ain't my business, is it? So we got a letter. First, we completed the objective to sell the Bloodline Opal, and at the moment, we have no other objectives, but that'll change as soon as our note kicks in. Garrett, we must speak with you. Tursus Courtyard and Stone Market Plaza. Keeper Artemis. So that, of course, gives us an objective to meet with the keepers in Tursus Courtyard and Stone Market Plaza. But we need to finish looting Stone Market proper first. There are a few things we need to do. I'm going to save the Stonecutter's house for the very end because that triggers a melee. So the pipe up above Black Market Bertha has a water arrow that's here every day. Similarly, if you had Evening. Hope you trip. If you had left out of here, there's a watchman who never moves, but we can move up on him without any alerts. If we just Oh, crikey. 
Garrett chose to jump and bump into the uh, barrel instead of mantling. Evening. Evening. We need to get him to mantle onto this barrel. <laughs> then we can slide down onto the smaller one and then down to the street without making any noise. Once that's done, up in these bushes, there's a moss arrow, which is here every day. Now, I actually am gonna pass through the stonecutter's house. I'll meet up later with the boys. There are two ways in. There's the door behind him and the door up on the balcony, which is over here. And plus, there's a door out to this street, but, uh, we can't cross in front of this guard without at least getting a green alert. We also can't open either door without a green alert. So if you want to loot this street at all, it'll bust supreme. You'll take a green alert one way or the other. Have myself a good one. I should also yeah. point out that over on that street corner is the third cornerstone for Stone Market <laughs> proper. The passage to Old Corner currently has the same quarantine note as the Docks passage in South Corner. So, I'm going to go this way. Now, if we close the door too soon, he'll yellow alert and come over here. So, we really don't want that. So, once I pick the lock open, I'm going to open the door, wait for the green alert to settle, and then uh, close the door and make sure it doesn't yellow alert. I may actually need to take the balcony route. We'll see. <laughs> Guess it was nothing. I'm gonna shut the door now. Okay, we'd be able to hear his footsteps if he yellow alerted, so I think we're good for now. Yeah. Anyway, I'm certainly going to avoid uh, triggering the stonecutter event right now. So for now, we just want to go through the house. Huh? Oh my goodness. Maybe I should just take the green alert that comes from rushing across the front of him. Hard to decide what to do. Well, we already took this one. Anyway, I'm reasonably certain that we can get out this door without any further alerts. It's just a matter of timing. I heard something. <gasps> ah, who are you? I'm telling. Although, as you can doubtless obviously tell, being inside this house counts as trespassing, and the citizens of the city don't like that much. So I'm just going to lean into the door and listen for those footsteps to be farther away before I open and close it. Let's try... let's try it now. We close it behind us. No sound, everything... So if we... that gas arrow, we can't reach it yet. We need the climbing gloves first. But that gas arrow is there every day. And here... We have the Stone Market Clock Tower, erected by the Order of the Hammer to glorify the name of the Master Builder. As so we head over here, we can get into this apothecary shop through the window without messing with the door. We just need to make sure no one's around to see us do it. Inside here, there are two health potions. One, two, and a copper coin, another 25, 
Neither, none of those appear again. They're only there once. So, reclose the window behind me. I'm gonna head over, clear the rest of the streets right quick. Inside this tree is a moss arrow, which is here every day. And at the base of this tree is a jade ring, which is only there once. Finally, well, I say finally, we're gonna tackle Cothran's armory. We have to be careful here because the thug is hostile to everyone. If he sees a civilian, he'll start a brawl himself. So we have to, kind of have to hope that doesn't happen. <sighs> but it did happen. Nothing we can do Get about ready it. ready to die! <laughs> Alright, the streets are crazy now, so let's head into the armory. These two broadhead arrows are here every day, as are these coins in the safe worth 50. Oh. That shouldn't have been able to happen. Inside the chest is a jade necklace that's only there once, as well as some silver coins that are only there once. As we head up here, on the little table, there's a copper ring that's only there once. As we move upstairs. Some kind of cat and mouse game. He's alerted to the chaos happening outside. We want to pickpocket. I won't hurt you. His I key. promise. Whoever it was, I heard. They heard me too. Hmm. So once he goes and sits back hmm. down. Nothing. Well, let me, let me try that again right quick. That's what I was worried about. That thug will start the fight and then the fight's happening and we just have to do our best to stay hidden. So I do want this guy's key. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna have to wait for his alert to settle down before I can pickpocket him. I forgot that detail. He's alert to the battle that's now going on in the streets. That thug is out there. He'll kill everything he sees until the city watch take him down. But then people will spot bodies. They'll alert. Fights will start again because of faction loyalties. The two <sighs> Whoever it was I heard, they heard me too. Ran off somewheres. So there's not a whole lot we can do now. Things are just hectic outside. So I'm going to grab his key. In addition to that, there's a copper coin on that end table that's only there once. And inside this chest, which is just a nice, easy left, right, left, he'll green alert when it opens and closes. No worries there. Is that a noise? There is the golden dagger that the thug was hired to get. So, now we're done in Catherine's armory. It wasn't anything. So we'll head downstairs. I'm going to tackle the stonecutter's house next. That will trigger a conversation and another melee that there's not a whole lot I can do about, unfortunately. But... I'm not going to mess with anything. I'm going to leave it at leave everything as it lies. That's what Supreme Ghost demands I do after all. I do wonder where all the Oh, yes. There are the corpses. There will be some more. And now anyone who's seen a corpse is going to be hostile to me. That probably includes all of the civilians. So here inside the stonecutter's house, there's a good deal of loot to get. This stack of coins and this ruby are here every day. What? 
Work voucher for Mrs. Elois Redding. Repair chip in large ruby removed from brooch for repair work. To be picked up on Tuesday. Signed, Vincent Crowley, Stonecutter. So, as we move into here... First, there's a copper ring, which is also here every day. The two pieces of loot in this chest, the Jade Goblet and the Silver Goblet, are both only here once. And let's read this note. Thursday. I think I got it all figured out. Cut up the big stone as planned and deliver the package to Milton and Craig. When they look inside, they'll see a bunch of gems and assume they're all there, never guessing I took some, and why not? Their plan doesn't work without a decent stone cutter, and they won't go to the city watch because they're the crooks who stole it in the first place. Friday. Delivered the package. Seemed to go well. Milton was a little tense, but I reckon that's not unusual for a hoodlum. Guess I pulled it off. Saturday. Couldn't sleep last night. What if they look more closely at their share and then come back for me? I'll hide the gems I took until I'm sure I fooled them. No one will look in Tursus Courtyard, will they? I'll stash them at the base of that gargoyle statue around the back where they can't be easily seen. So that gives us the note that Crowley, the stonecutter, hid some gems in Tursus Courtyard. Awesome. So, now I'm going to go downstairs. I want to pickpocket the stonecutter's key before their conversation ends, because as soon as it ends, they'll kill him, and then, you know, if the battle can spill out into the streets. Just general chaos here, but there's very little left to do, which is good. That door is now standing open, that's the way that they came in, I suppose. I'm going to do a real save here, and I'm going to tackle all of this later. I will see you all soon. Bye-bye. And we're back. Sorry about that. Well, that was a near full day break for me, but it'll probably just turn into a little hiccup in the video for you. Let's get back to work. So we left off at the Stonecutter's house, and as I practice ran a little bit ahead, I discovered that I have inadvertently stopped their melee from happening, which is definitely a good thing. I'm just going to need to get down there and hide in the shadows. Their conversation will start, but pretty soon, because I took the ruby and the silver from that table, the stonecutter will yellow alert, and when he's finished, all three of them will just be frozen. So, I guess my propensity for kleptomania is actually going to prevent some violence this time. Well, now, we're here, in- I don't believe it! Gone! And right from under my nose! The stonecutter has a key we'll want to pickpocket. As soon as his yellow alert ends, we should be able to do it. I'll just wall flatten in the meantime. You heard the alert spread out to the streets, although that is actually, now that I think of it, it's actually probably from the corpses that are still lining the streets out there. Nothing. And look at all the time I just wasted. Oh, ridiculous. So there, having bagged his key, we're just about good to go. This could be a problem, though. Let me check out the streets and see. Yeah, if those civilians just walked by those corpses, then they're going to be hostile to me. Hi so I need to make sure that they don't see me as I sneak back down the street. Something about the city streets, all the lights and the sounds, nice change of scenery from the pub. Can't have imagined that! There's another woman who saw the corpses, and her alert then spread to Benny. So we wait again. Oh, why do funny things always happen on my shift? Scared myself again. 
I need to stay away from coffee for real this time. So anyway, none of these alerts are busting the ghost because they all come from things I didn't do. The thug in Catherine's armory just started a street fight that left a bunch of bodies out there. He does that if he sees anyone. stories you hear these days. Some old hag skinning her victims and leaving them for dead. Now when we get a minute, let's leave the golden dagger inside the donation box. Hmm, not a bad looking fella. And head back to Stone Market Plaza. Here in the plaza, two little things to do. The first is just to get to Tursus Courtyard. Well, they're both in Tursus Courtyard, so that was a meaningless statement. First, I'm gonna meet with the Keepers, and I'll just let you watch the cutscene, but uh, pay attention to the gargoyle statue during the cutscene. There's a little bit of foreshadowing there. In order for the cutscene to trigger, you have to get very near the other entrance. notes, secret meetings. Haven't you keepers outgrown this stuff yet? It was not our intention to be cryptic. What was your intention? Don't I have friends on the Keeper Council anymore? More than you know. Garrett, may I speak? Sure. Talk. The Keeper Council has agreed to allow you access to the prophecies as they are read by our interpreter, Keeper Kataka. That's keeper talk for something bad has happened and now we want your help, right? But there is something they require of you first. Go on. Two objects, one with the Hammerites, the other with the Pagans. They are unusual. We wish to study them further. We need you to acquire them for us. You mean steal them? Are you sure these are the only hoops your Keeper friends need me to jump through before I'm allowed to hear the prophecies? It's true that through this you will have proven that you are trustworthy. None of this is... my choice. I'll get you the trinkets. You just make sure your Keeper buddies come through on their end of the bargain. I will. Garrett? Garrett? Garrett, these are the objects that you must acquire. The chalice, a relic of the Hammerites. It is kept in St. Edgar's Church in Stone Market proper. The jackmal's paw, a possession of the pagans. They have constructed secret tunnels beneath the South Quarter well. We believe the paw to be there somewhere. Meet back in Tursus Courtyard in two nights. I have faith in your abilities, Keeper Artemis. Make sure you get out of the doorway, or else the patrolling watchman will see you again. Nothing happens on my beat for a month. <laughs> then, three in a week. <laughs> so let's look at what our new objectives are. We have two. Steal the chalice from St. Edgar's Church in Stone Market proper, and use the South Quarter Well to enter the Pagan Tunnels and steal the paw from them. We can do these missions in either order. I'm going to do St. Edgar's first, just because. And... On top of that, we have a new restriction. You're working with the Keepers for now. Don't attack them or get caught doing anything that will cause them to attack you. Well, fair enough. The, uh... Some people complain about the plotline and they don't understand why Garrett suddenly wants to help the Keepers, but if you think back to the very end of Thief 2, Garrett was pretty profoundly affected by the events at Soul Forge and the death of Victoria, the rise of Karis, and when uh, Artemis told him that it had all been written in the prophecies, Garrett asked 
to see the prophecy. So I assume that this is a direct continuation of that plot line with the Keeper Council throwing up some hoops he needs to jump through before Artemis can keep his promise to let Garrett see what was written, but I digress. Let's get Crowley's gems from the base of the gargoyle statue. They're worth 200. You might have also noticed the statue's wings twitch during the cutscene if you were paying attention like I told you to. That's interesting, isn't it? And uh, once we have the gems and our new objectives, we're all set to head back to Stone Market proper. Because there's one thing left to do there. Hello, officer. Remember, I pay my protection money. <laughs> so, Zago. He patrols off down the street, just slip into Stone Market proper behind him again. The reason I do St. Edgar's first is because I do have to come back here to grab the last little bit of loot from City Day 1, and then you're right next to St. Edgar's. So the last little bit we need to do is if the we map do stays with me, handsome as we'll need it for the planning if we turned device. in the dagger when you leave and come back you'll find three gold the coins nest. in the donation box and that's it so I'm gonna sell those off to black market Bertha well everything I've picked Always up is nice to see you G oh And then I'm gonna save right outside St. Edgar's, and after the day one video is posted, they'll come back and we will tackle the mission. chicken, ain't ya? Partners. They always talk big, but in the end they're all chicken. Oh, dang it. He was off on another alert. Yep, yellow Surprise. alert. Once the melee start, the streets are never safe. I could hide the bodies myself, but I'm no street cleaner. Low life scum. Now I'm gonna listen. The map stays with me. Okay, Benny's gone. Of course we can take him. Obviously we can beat him. But sometimes it's better to use your brain rather than get it smashed Touch me in. again and I'll clean your it. clock. So I'm gonna wait for this gal to wander away somewhere. That's good enough. I'm gonna save right here, and we should be good to enter St. Edgar's Eve at our leisure. So, I will see you all next time. That's it for now. Bye-bye.